Hello Cancer and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your full moon in Aries Astro Tarot reading. Now we have the full moon in Aries occurring on Wednesday, October 20th at 10.57 a.m. And that's when it opposes the sun in Libra and we have Mars conjuncting the sun at that time. Keep in mind that Mars rules Aries and he is not comfortable in Libra. Mars is about self-confidence. Aries is about the self, the I am, your health and well-being of the body. And Libra is about partnerships, wanting things to be balanced, equal and fair. Later on that afternoon, the moon is going to slide into Taurus at 3.59 p.m. And then it's going to conjunct Uranus and Taurus on Thursday, October 21st at 6.28 p.m. And that's Eastern Standard Time, so please adjust to your time zone. So full moons are about completions, but it's also what's being illuminated. And in Mars, it's illuminating something about ourselves. Are we completing a phase, a situation, a job, a goal? Because full moons are a completion because now it's completely whole. Now, the focus of the moon is going to shift because while it's in Aries, it is about the self-image, your self-confidence, and what actions you're going to take. And when it moves into Taurus, its focus is going to shift into the career and finances. And with that Uranus energy, those unexpected changes that can happen suddenly. The sun conjuncting Mars and Libra, I really get the feeling of this balancing of health and wealth. We're bringing in the harvest, the wealth, and hopefully it will benefit our health. But keep in mind, health is wealth. And then that Taurus conjunct, or the moon in Taurus conjuncting Uranus, you know, what changes can you make to improve? Um, or how do you adapt to those sudden changes that occur, those unexpected events? And keep in mind that these events support your evolution. They kind of take away that which you were having difficulty in, that you were entangled in and weren't able to extract yourself from it. So in this time of crisis, a new opportunity arises. Okay, so this is a general tarot reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. And because this is a general tarot reading, only go with the messages that resonate with you. So let's see what Sacred Rebel is there for you, Cancer. And, oh, follow your own rhythm. I love it. Because Cancer, you are ruled by the moon. So you are going to, you feel all the moon cycles. You're very sensitive. You're a watery sign ruled by the moon. You are ruled by your emotions. So listen to your heart and follow your own rhythm. If it's something that feels right to you. Now, if something within you is warning you, listen to that too, because the rhythms ebb and flow. So you can ebb away from something just as you flow towards something. So let's look at the witch's familiars and see which one is going to help you at this time, Cancer. Okay. 
and we have the badger persecution okay there might be those around you that are telling you to do something other than what feels right to you they're only projecting that which feels right for them for their comfort zone and they're not considering what is right for you so part of this challenge is to stand up to yourself and know that water is a very powerful element and it can wear away stone to create huge canyons just as it can take the shape of any form but again you have to be careful not to take the shape and form of what others want you to be and on the other aspect of this you have to maybe stay your own ground because badger got a bad rap you know he's only doing what is right by his own nature he's a short stout little fellow that can that's ferocious but can be very kind and comical and silly and so sometimes we just have to look at the comedy of a situation. And yes, it can be a, the comedy of a tragic situation because humor will help heal that situation. So let's go deeper for you, Cancer, with the tarot. See what the tarot have to say for you. Okay, we start off with the Three of Pentacles. This card has been coming up a lot in several of the readings. And I get the feeling that many people are starting their own business, working out of home. And now it's starting to take off. It's showing progress. People are taking interest in what you are doing. You are getting recognition for what you are doing. Not all of the attention that you're getting may be positive attention, but there is the pentacles. The pentacles have to do with money and business and career. And this shows contracts. So pay attention to contracts if people are asking you to do work for them. And then next we have the Seven of Wands. Yes, pay close attention to what is going on with you. Um, you might find that you have to protect yourself. So make sure that you read those contracts carefully so others are not taking advantage of you. Make sure that it's within the realm, the lines, what you feel comfortable in working with. And then we have an ending with the Ten of Swords. This could be that your business is taking off what it is that you're putting your time and effort into and building. It allows you to bring this <clears throat> and perhaps leave your other job because this new thing that you're doing you're following your bliss and perhaps there are those that are saying oh don't leave your other job don't leave that security but you need to put more time into your projects and so there might come a time to where you just have to bring that to an ending okay we have the knight of wands this is serendipitous timing this is being at the right place at the right time. So by following your own rhythm, you're going to do the right thing, Cancer. So long as you follow what feels right to you. And look, we have the full moon right there. Something is going to be illuminated. Full moons also represent a completion or an ending to something. Okay, then we have 
the four of cups this is showing yeah you're tired of a lot of things and then suddenly something new arrives and it's exactly what you were looking for and it's with this knight of wands the knights are instigators of change and something that feels right to you that missing piece is going to arrive at the time when you gave up you felt like giving up and then we have the hermit card you're able to go off on your own this is a soul journey of learning more about who you are and building strength to follow your own rhythm this is bringing light into your darkness this is the full moon illuminating the night then we have the two of swords this is being at the crossroads intellectually so within your mind you might be stuck um in a loop not knowing which way to go you can't see everything that you you don't have all the information that is why it's going to be even more important for you to tune into your heart and ask your heart what is the right thing to do strength this is ruled by Leo. Leo rules the heart. What your heart has to say will give you great strength. And strength can be gentle. Strength can be kind. You know, it can be difficult and challenging because we don't get strong without being challenged. And this two of swords is the challenge that's going to make you stronger. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Something is going to occur quickly. This is that sudden change, um, unexpected events. Here you're receiving new messages, whether you're expecting them or not. Okay, so let's get into your tea leaves. This is a very thick deck, so I'm going to break it down into three piles and we'll draw one card from each pile. Okay, they've been popping out like this for everyone. So here we have the parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. That's this badger. Somebody is persecution. You know, this persecution is talking badly about you. But and that might end the friendship. You know, people talking bad about you and you find out who, who it was and you're no longer going to associate with that person or company because this is a general reading, so it can be anything that you're connected with, okay? This card flipped over the scales. Keep your life in balance. That is that Sun and Mars in Libra energy. And then we have... And keeping your life in balance will shut down the gossiper and it'll just turn back on them and they'll be the ones that look bad. And maybe don't tell everyone your secrets or be very careful. Maybe you're better off just journaling your secrets and keeping them to yourself and sharing them with your journal so that they're not looping around in your head like the Two of Swords. what we have for you cancer the eye psychic ability trust your intuition it's just confirmation to following your own rhythm 
And you'll find your strength there by doing that which feels right for you. Okay, let's see what kind of magic making there is for you, Cancer, with this full moon. With those of you who like to do a little moon magic. Felix Felictitious, power symbol to create lucky, serendipitous events. There's your Knight of Wands, this sudden change that appears at the right time, at the right place. So that is confirmation for that happening. And it'll come to you after you've had this separation with the whoever it was that was talking badly about you. It creates an opening, a new opportunity, and somebody new or something new comes in that's even better for you. Okay, and then let's conclude your reading with the eternal light. For you, Cancer, we have something is coming to life. It is following your rhythm, going with the ebb and flow. All things exist within all things as infinite breathes lie dormant within each breath. All of creation lies dormant within each thought. Creation is the essence that gives life to matter through thought, will, or hidden desire of the soul. Positive news is forthcoming. Something is about to manifest. Wow, confirmation for your Felix Philictitious as well. The power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events this also speaks of the moon card that you have. And um, this is just a really beautiful reading for you, Cancer. Something wonderful. Just do your dance. Go with your flow. Follow your true intuition. And the psychic ability, trusting your intuition, could very well be these unexpected messages that come to you that may come to you through journaling or your dreams. So I'm going to conclude your reading here, Cancer. I hope you found this helpful for you. And until next time, take care.